Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about doing the inverse of the trig ratio. So remember a trig ratio is a function where you plug in an angle and press enter on your calculator or do whatever you need to do and your answer that you get out is a ratio. So your input is an angle and your output is a ratio. Say we wanna do the inverse of that. So the symbol for inverse is a negative one as an exponent. Um, so if this is the sine function, sine to the negative one is the inverse of the sine function. And the inverse of the sine function, we input a ratio and we get out an angle. So the input of your inverse is the output of your original function. So say we are looking at this example right here, we wanna find out what angle A is. We don't know what theta is for angle A, but we know that the sine of that angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, four inches over 16 inches, which is equal to one fourth. So what we do is we go to our calculator because that's where it has its stored. Just like it has stored all of the angles and their ratios, you can work backwards and you can give the calculator a ratio and it will give you out an angle. Of course, should have written this already, this is an approximation. It is not an exact value, um, but this would be approximately 4.48 degrees since we are in degree mode. So again, the inverse function tells us the angle if we set up and give it the ratio.